Hello there, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Got some new things that I want to show you today. I found these little antique gold frames at Hobby Lobby, and you got six in a pack, and I came home and found these little vintage images that I had in my stash of digitals that I had printed out and I put them in the frame and added some bling on the top and then all I'm going to do is hook a pin, a bulb pin or a tiny safety pin or something to the top and I'm going to dangle these from my junk journal pages and from the covers or whatever and then I also had these um, letter beads in gold and I was just experimenting with making some things. So these also have a loop at the top so they can hang and, and dangle on the edge of a page. Um, but then it just has the words on there. And then I added some crystals and stuff at the end too. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Here's another little bead that I recently made. I got these beads online. I thought they were just so gorgeous. I don't remember... It might have been Wish. I can't, can't remember exactly. And then the little cluster I bought at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I just added it onto the bottom of that. And I thought that was just the cutest thing in the world. And then I want to show you some of my boho beads that I've been making lately. Let me see if I can get these in the, in the camera right. This was an idea that I had, and I was pretty pleased with it, too. I have this uh, rhinestone... It's not, I guess you'd call it chain. It's Swarovski crystals, and it has the Aurora Borealis finish on it, so it catches all the colors of the rainbow. And I just wrapped it around there and glued it with Fabri-Tac. And this one, I put a little bell on the bottom of it. Oh, gosh, I've just been having so much fun making these. Look at this one. This is like a cluster. It has a key. It has this little crystal. It has this feather. It's real fuzzy. It's hanging from a piece of an earring. And then from the bottom, I just gave it some dangles to hang there. Here's a boho bead with all the boho colors and some dangly things at the bottom. Here's another vintage-looking one. I added some dangles and these beautiful bead caps. And then in the wire, I put these square um, crystals in there. Here's some of the fibers that I've been using in my snippet strips. Got a little heart bead right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so cute. Let's see. We've got this guy. The big crystal. I'll put some more crystals on that one. Look at this one. This one has a, a Jane Eyre book on here. It's called Charlotte Bronte. <laughs> How cute is that? And this one has a little mama, um, I was going to say puppy dog. Yeah, I think it's a puppy dog carrying the baby. All right, let's see what else we got here. Look how colorful this is. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And then I've got the pinks. Yeah, I was going to say that's upside down, but no, that's the way it's supposed to go. This one, love this little um, glass bead right here. Here's some turquoise. Now, on this one, I hung one of my little um, miniature vials that has the beads inside. This one has a seahorse dangling. This one, oh, love these colors. Love, love, love these colors. Look at this. Yes, I've been busy. I've been having so much fun. Look at this one. It has a teapot. It's a teapot hanging, a teapot bead. And of course, I bought the top and the bottom. I just had to put a bead inside of it. This one has dragonflies. Who doesn't love dragonflies? Here's another teapot, and this one's done a little more Victorian looking. Here's a very colorful boho bead. Now, all these, you know, you can hang them from bulb pins and stuff. I just haven't put my pins on them yet. I just wanted to show you what I've been making. Love these little guys here. Okay, so I'm going to push those over and show you the last little stash. There's just a little bead I made. This one, I put the word happy. And it's got the little um, moon with the kitty cat. This one has a key. This one has a butterfly. Now, this is one of the uh, pins that I make, these journal pins. And I just took some letters and I wrote create and tied a little frou-frou on the end of it. And then look at this. 
<laughs> is that so cool? This was a paper bead, believe it or not. I rolled a paper bead that big, and when I got done with it, I wasn't real happy. So I wrapped the whole thing with fibers, and I made this giant boho bead. How cool is that? Anyway, guys, that's what I've been up to. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.